1969. Nearly half a million people in Hyde Park for a free concert by the Rolling Stones. All you want in the audience for you, like the performer, is all that feeling, you know, that they want to have a good time, you know, and if they want to have a good time, you know, they make you have such a good time and then you give it back, it goes round and round and round. We 
we've done shows where people have sat that there. Oh, I, I want to be entertained. Mm. Like, entertain me, lads. You know, like these seaside shows at Scarborough, you know. So there you are with the whole family, and they've come out to be, hi, oh, entertainment night. So we've got there, and, you know, they go, ding, 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 ding. is that entertainment? You know, they don't want to put anything into it. You know, I think this afternoon, people come to, you know, have a good time, be outside, you know, dig the stones, dig the other groups that are on, and just like the music, enjoy the sunshine. A concert's not just to hear the music as it really is. That's for the studio to, to do. You know, when you listen to the record, you know, that's as near as you want it to sound all together, a total sort of integrated thing. When you do a concert, it's what, you know, they come to see, you know, what you're doing and, you know, they just come together. It's an excuse as well as a groove for them all to come together and sort of all to join hands and all to embrace each other and have a common feeling. <laughs> Swastika was out before even the Nazis were even thought, and it's a sign of peace. It's only the Nazis that really picked up that swastika and turned it into what people think it is. What? Hey. 7 a.m. in the park. Still more than eight hours to go before the Stones are due on stage. The start of the day for the Hells Angels. The old rockers, five years on. All motorbikes and swastikas. For today only, they're policemen. They see themselves as loners and outsiders. The stones, they think, are the same. The stones are real life people, not like the Beatles, with these seven days in bed and they're true to life. Can I understand them more? For the boy's sake, no, 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 no. Later on, if you all have a punch up with me, one at a time, when I've got a 12 ball shotgun, we'll all have it. Right, okay. 9.15 a.m. The stone security man, Tom Keelock. There's only a couple of screamers I know of down there that's going to make it. And um, if they're halfway across, don't shove them, mate. Someone's going to get hurt. Pull them over and take them around the back. Right. There are ambulance people here. There's lost children places. There's doctors. There are toilets stretched around this ground uh, for those that either require to use them or that can get near to them. There are I don't care who you're with, I want you out of the enclosure. Don't need anyone for the moment in front, OK? Because the angels are looking after that. And that's where, like, the aggro is likely to come from. If anybody feels ill because of the sun, um, then, and they're right in the middle of the crowd, send a note forward as quick as you can to the stage, and we'll deal with getting them out. Most of these centers are very, very quiet. No, yeah, they are. I've, I've sussed them all out. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty cool. And none of these, uh, if it's something, they're pretty quiet. Yeah. There'll be so many different sorts of people up there. There'll be mods, there'll be rockers, and there'll be us. 10.30 a.m. Kings Road, Chelsea. The gathering of the clans begins. The old mods, the old rockers, the newer hippies. The stones have at one time or another led them all. Now they are pulling them all together in the park. The stones have always been the controversial people. The Beatles get the MDE, but the stones have never get anything near it because... They're totally anti-establishment, and um, everybody in the establishment has always bugged the stones, and, and people are going to have that feeling for them yeah, when it right. happens. <laughs> so, with, with a bit of luck, it will be peaceful and gentle and nice, but you can never tell. Jagger's cool, right? Everybody's going to be cool, but if he starts... <laughs> <laughs> right?
What a thing to get a hundred thousand people in the park and just generate the idea of peace and love. Because you know there are just too many violent vibrations about at the moment. Ruffy! people do two houses, 4,000 people each pay an average of 10 shillings, which is 2,000 pounds, of which 1,000 pounds goes to the management of the theatre or the promoter or the da 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 1,000 pounds which left goes to the publicity, blah, 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 the groups who are supporting the bill, blah, blah, blah. You end up that? with uh, sort of 300 and something pounds and it costs you 150 pounds to get there. Divided by five leaves you with... I mean, really. You know, you can get all these people all at once. They don't have to pay. They're all going to come and have a better time if they don't. <laughs> To them, it's just an extraneous event. It's like being in a village where there's a fate. I may not like the fate, but it doesn't stop me having a drink in the pub. I think English people on a day like this won't be annoyed. The horses didn't mind at all. They rode by. <laughs> p.m. Marianne Faithful, Nicholas and Mick Jagger leave their Chelsea home for the concert headquarters, a hotel near the park. But I'm really looking forward to it, I really am. Nice one, Marianne. What's Charlie doing? What's Charlie going to do? 
He's gonna play the drums. The drums. So he's gonna wave at you. Oh yes, he does wave. Wow. I'm really quite nervous. I'm never nervous usually, but I am a bit. Really, it's been such a day. Got any reactions, Nicholas? What are your reactions? <laughs> I hope Charlie waves at me. And you'll wave back, won't you? Oh, you've got to wave a lot. I'm not behind it. I mean, anybody that wasn't nervous before something like that it just wouldn't be natural. Um, yeah, you always get them. Because, I mean, it's not so much nervous, it's just sort of a build, it's the adrenaline. The greatest rock and roll band in the world. They're incredible. Let's hear it from the stone. I hope it's not sort of, I hope nobody gets hurt. I Can know. I just explain something for the benefit, please, of people who are standing underneath that tree? There are many trees. Trees have branches. This particular tree has decided to shed its branch, mainly because it's not used to having 300 people sitting in its midst. Could we ask people to respect this park and to respect the trees? We don't want to destroy trees, but we'll go on and like they'll all be up, 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 and I'll come right down and try and keep them as quiet as possible. And then I'll say this, and it will take about two minutes to speak. Right. This, this poem, and then, then we'll then we're, then we're straight into our, I'm yours and she's mine. Yeah. The press of the world are here. When I say the world, I really do mean that. Because you're down there, and I'm hers. You know that it's going to be like mad. What, a firm outline? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I think somebody tells me to stop. We well, have various estimates of the crowd here. It's estimated somewhere around 250,000, 300,000 people, which is twice as big as, well, nearly three times as big, in fact, as uh, the immortal British Cup final at Wembley. And uh, so we ought to feel proud. But even nicer than that, and we're not kind of escalation freaks, we don't believe necessarily in putting things on and just making them the biggest and the best. I don't think that is our scene. Nicer than that is that with the number of people we've got, and it's obviously a lot, however many it is, there's not yet been one incident reported to the organisers. Well, we managed to sort of assure everyone that crowds that attend pop concerts attend because they want to listen to music. caravan behind the stage. Fifteen minutes to go and a final nervous rehearsal for New Stone Mick Taylor. The Hyde Park concert is his first appearance with the band, just two days after the death of Brian Jones, whom he replaces. Harp. There it is. God made the word. He made the instrument. Harp. Now then, here's the harp. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And you take that. And it goes there. There's the house. All those pieces one, two, three, four, five, 
five. Now that's got meaning. The top of that half is a question mark. How much are you going to half out? But you may be a beautiful player on the half, but you don't believe in God. I hope Brian will be the concert. I mean, he'll be there. I mean, it all depends what you believe in. If you're agnostic, he's just dead and that's it. When we get there this afternoon, I mean, we're going to... He's going to be there. I don't believe in Western bereavement. You know, I can't suddenly drape the long black veil and walk the hills, but it still is very upsetting. I want to make it so that Brian's send-off from the world is as filled with as much happiness as possible. Listen, yeah. who's introducing this? Listen, the first thing that's going to happen is when we get on the stage, I'm going to read something which is for Brian. And because we all want to think about him today, so the first thing that's going to happen is that I'm going to read something which is for Brian, and I hope they all agree with what I say about it. But can you say that I'm going to let for it? Yes, because otherwise, you know, it might be yeah, difficult to finish. Shut up. Yeah. Right? It's a very nice crowd. I mean, everyone's obviously very hot. Man, but oh, our record is record of 650,000. No. Yeah. Okay, now listen, now will you just cool it just for a minute, because I really would like to say something for Brian, and I'd really dig it if you would be with us when I, well, what I'm going to say, I really, I really don't know how to do this sort of thing, but I'm going to try, and I hope you can just, just cool it just before we start, and I really hope, if you do, I really appreciate it, if you guys could just say a few words what I think I feel about Brian, and I'm sure you do, and what we feel about him just going when we didn't expect him to, okay? Okay, are you going to be quiet or not? Okay. I used to say, something that was written by Shelley, and I think it goes with what happened to Brian. Peace. Peace. He is not dead. He does not sleep. He has awakened from the dreams of life. It's we that are lost in stormy visions and keep with phantoms an unprofitable strife. And in a mad trance we strike with a spirit's knife, invulnerable nothing. We decay like corpses in the charnel. Fear and grief convulse us and consume us day by day. And cold hopes swarm like worms within our living clay. The one remains, the many change and pass. Heaven's light forever shines. Earth's shadows fly. Life, like a dome of many colored glass, stains the white radiance of eternity until death tramples it to fragments. Die, and if thou wouldst be with that which thou dost seek, follow where all is fled.
you know, we always enjoyed performing. It was sort of our buzz. I mean, I always, I always felt that the Beatles sort of did it. You know, when, when they were big, they did it kind of. You know, it wasn't really their forte. Their forte was songwriting and making records. Ours was like doing concerts. <laughs>
so pleased to say you guys are going to We're going to leech it off. We're going to leech off with a samba, okay? So just bang your toe drops together and we're going to give... We're going to give the drummers a minute, a whole minute to get it together.